Alright, so back to school season is here, and you've probably heard many great things about taking notes with a tablet. And let me tell you, it can be amazing if you do it right. So in today's video, we're going over just that. These are two of the most common and effective tablet note-taking methods I've seen in college. The first being what I like to call the lecture summarization method, and the second being the lecture modification method. Let's first talk about the lecture summarization method, one that you've probably seen before. During class, after your teacher or professor presents each slide, you will summarize it on your tablet. You're essentially taking what your professor says and putting it in your own words, which can be super helpful for your own comprehension because you're taking that information in processing it and then writing it down in a way that you understand for instance if we're learning about this slide right here about atrial fibrillation for example there's just a lot going on and not all of that information is going to be tested on or is really even useful for you it just clutters everything up and distracts you from the main point point. and so by using this method you can go and take each segment of each slide and summarize what you actually need to know for instance the first bullet point says it affects the upper chambers of the heart that are responsible for pushing the blood to the ventricles and so on. And so what you can do is just take your tablet and summarize by writing atrial fibrillation affects the atria. Maybe even add that they are the upper chambers of the heart if it's a new term for you. And boom, you're done. That massive segment of text can be translated into a tiny segment of your notes. And all the context and all that extra information on the slide that can be pretty helpful for you to understand in the beginning can just be summarized in that small sentence. And so when you're studying later on, you can be efficient and get to the main point of what you're trying to learn. And so to finish this example, here are all of the bullet points summarized with even a small image to the right I found on FreePick that can show you exactly what parts of the heart are being affected. And that's something I like to do as well adding imagery to make things a little bit easier to understand. And that's the lecture summarization method in a nutshell. It's an incredible strategy, and it's helped me tremendously throughout my undergrad years in my biology, calculus, and physics classes. It's also really good for your in-class comprehension as well, because you're actively engaged, writing down each main point. But the only problem with it is, it's time consuming. For the faster paced classes, such as when you're an upperclassman or in grad school, this strategy can be super tough to use if you haven't mastered it already. So in that case, here's another strategy that I've used successfully in my tougher classes and in grad school, the lecture modification method. Essentially, we're gonna go back to that original slide that I showed you with all of that information and annotate it, highlighting the most important information and just adding little notes for your own comprehension. For example, for the first bullet point, I can just highlight what is important on the slide, such as it affects the upper chambers of the heart. And then even add a little note, atria, to specify the name of those chambers. And boom, the first segment is done. It's super fast and incredibly time efficient. And here's the rest of the slide using that strategy. The only issue I really have with this one, which is admittedly a pretty big issue, is how well am I actually comprehending the material? Because I don't know if this is just a me thing, but by highlighting specific segments of the slide, I don't really know if I'm learning as much as the other method, which is probably because in the classes that I'm using this with, they're definitely faster paced and you're not given a lot of time to really process the information that you're given, which is a shame, but it is what it is. But overall, I've used both of these strategies and have been extremely successful using them in the right courses. Both can get you the A, for certain classes. For instance, during undergrad, I was able to use the lecture summarization method a lot because we had the time. In fact, we had so much time that our professors would take breaks after each slide for us to jot things down and would also ensure that they keep the slides relatively succinct and on top of that, would also answer questions throughout class so we have so much time to take notes. But afterward, during grad school, no, there was very little time. In that context, I had to use the faster paced lecture modification method instead. So both of these really work well. It just depends on the class you're taking and the type of student you are. Each strategy has its pros and cons, time being the main factor for these two. And these are not the only ones you can use. There are countless methods. And the point is, no matter how you take your notes, you will still need to study them after. In school, especially college, your real learning typically will come after class. Unfortunately, oftentimes lectures are only made to introduce you to a bunch of information and it's up to you to decide what is the most important and what are you actually going to be tested on. And that's not an easy decision. But that's the game. You'll learn more about finding the key information that you're going to be tested on as you go through more school. But at this point, try to focus on the big picture. 
what is your professor trying to teach you? And then make sure to jot or highlight those things down using the study methods I talked about today, and then move on from there. And that was my video on how to take amazing notes with your tablet. I hope this video helped you, and if you'd like to see more, let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Sears. It's spelled like Cyrus, but not Sixty Rooster. Just take out the terror. Thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Purse.